you through till six o'clock in the morning. Lots of good things lined up throughout the night. From me, a very good night, though, and have a great weekend. for an insight on the gentleman's wardrobe. Thank it's you, very Paul. kind of you. Thanks. Now then, earlier on the show, we promised Simon O'Brien a few very, very necessary tips on how to assume the guise of a gentleman. <laughs> now, it seems we've only got three hours on the show. Work has already started, and we're talking <laughs> about shoes. Here we have George Hancock. Welcome, George. Good evening. Who, for nearly 25 years, has been shoe shiner at Harrods. Now, Simon, what's been going on here? Well, I bothered to pay your shoes to start with, because Night Network wouldn't buy me any. <laughs> and George has now just given him a quick brush off to get all the dust off him, and now he's going to put the, uh, the polish on before he really gets down to it. They're pinching a bit at the back there, George, so can you give him a good rough, please? Yes, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving George a lot of problems here, because I'm keeping my white, white socks, socks on, just so it's nice and tricky for him. <laughs> so he does, if he gets polish on him, I'm going to sack him. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing all right so far. So we're going to come back to more of this later on? We certainly are. I'll be back after the break in about 15 minutes to have a chat with George. I'm also getting my own valet. We're coming up straight after the, the break, the man of elegance himself, Captain Scarlet. <laughs> Keep at it, George. This is George Hancock, who's been working at Harrods as a shoe shiner for nearly 25 years. Correct. You all right? Yeah, fine. So how's it going then, George? Fine. Let's Luckily, we've got a good pair of shoes. Right, yeah. Well, Tommy was absolutely made up, like, as he lent me his shoes, and look at the sake to them, he will be pleased. So, how do you, George, how do you get that shine like that? Because everyone polishes their shoes, right? But no one, but no one, except for the trained shoe shiner, can get a polish on them like that. So what's the secret? Come on, let us in. Well, you've got to start in the army first off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> army training, eh? Just to shine your shoes. And then you learn how to perfect it in there. And if, you're, if you've got the knack, you can do it. Yeah? And for 23 and a half years, I've been doing it. And if I'd have had to polish the shoes you had on, you were a miracle, not a shoe shine. It would be a miracle because I polish a pair of trainees. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you reckon? What's, what's, what's your best type of shoe like? What's your favourite shoe to have a good shine on? Well, obviously, John Lobbs. Yeah? A 900 pound a pair, they've got to be. 900 pound a pair? If you're stupid enough to pay 900 pound a pair, they need looking after, you know what I mean? Well, they're worth looking after. They certainly they are. They really are. But then, of course, you can pay 300 pounds for any off the shelf in the shop. <laughs> so, That's absolutely... I don't think I've ever paid more than 30 quid for a pair of well, shoes or trainees, ever. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen my shoes. <laughs> well, I mean, you must, you know, polish it in Harrods, like. You must meet a few people, like. I do. I go, I go way back to Lon Chaney, Jr. Yeah? Bud Flanagan, Sid James. The Bring them up to date. They're dropping everywhere. <laughs> 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 William Holden. Yeah? Stephanie Powers pops in town. Brilliant. Oh, so it's not just fellas, like. It's, you, oh, you, no, you I do, I do well. the customers' wise boots as well, and that takes some doing. Oh, brilliant. Because women do abuse their boots and shoes. Yeah? Unfortunately. Right. Yeah. But these are very good. It's a pair of Alan McAfee's. Very good for the price. So Excellent. What, what, what are you looking for when you go and buy a good, you know, when you have to a really good pair of shoes, like classy pair of shoes, what are you looking for? Well, some really good leather. Yeah? Really yeah. good leather. Good thick sole. Nice sole. Yeah. You know, something substantial, especially yeah. if you're a fair size as well. But what you'd have to, you'd have to comfort, or you'd have to solidness, you know what well, I mean? Well, that's up to you. If you yeah. take the comfort, you can't expect the... You can't expect them to last. The real like. last, the uh, last in the ease give you. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. but uh, do you want to put them on now? What's that? The shoes? Yeah, go ahead, let's throw them on, let's see what's happening. There we go. What are the things on your fingers for? Excuse me. Well, you can wear your fingers out with the amount of shoes that I do. <laughs> so that's just so purely for, not, not to help the shoes, just to protect you, yeah? There's a shoe hole. A shoe hole? Never had a shoe hole before in my life. <laughs> I saw one of my grannies ages ago. <laughs> well, they are the business, like. I've never... I can see me facing them. It's quite terrific. There you go. Cheers, that man. I suppose you have to keep be careful what shampoo you use as well, because people say a lot of top of your head. Too much the old dandruff from all that, George, yeah? Oh, I'll get my hair cut at Harrods, so it's okay. <laughs> anyway. There we go. As well as having my shoes done, there you go, the business. Over here, I've got my okay, own ballet. Thanks very much, George. You're welcome. Cheers. This is Ivor Spencer, 
who as well as being a valet, has been running a butler's school as well. That's right. That's right. So what are we doing here? Well, I'm, a, I'm on a very nice quality shirt for you, because yeah. I think a big star like you, quite frankly, you need style. <laughs> <laughs> this is style, this is style, this is style. I wouldn't call that style, sir. <laughs> and, you know, probably, if you dress very stylish, it could probably get you bigger parts, because somebody would say, uh, maybe a producer of a big television show like this will say, I'll take him to Claridge's for lunch. But he knows you're not dressed correctly. So you... You probably missed that lunch. So, so, you reckon, so you reckon people actually do put that much stow in, like, what you look like? Because yes. I've always thought that just to be clean, like, it doesn't matter what you look like, you know. But, not, but you think it's, it's, it's a lot more... Clean, of course, there. that's very important. Yeah, Hygiene, yeah. clean teeth, no bad breath, mm -hmm. no body odour. But actually, <laughs> I don't, you haven't, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> but dressing well is very important. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great style. That's what people are looking for today. And people book our butlers in, in America, in the royal family, and, and everywhere else. Excellent. Uh, and, but in America, they book us for status symbols. And now we're working for a lot of American television stars. Uh-huh, uh -huh. so, uh, so, hang on, so what are you doing? <coughs> so, so what's the difference, right? Because as far as I'm concerned, if I've got to hand my shirt, I usually just hold it up and say, Mom! Yeah, well, <coughs> right? <coughs> well, the main, the main thing is to see that the, the top button is, actually, the valet will do that with the butler. Uh -huh, so, because uh -huh. if you do your tie-up,